I'm not looking at any cameras right now. Welcome back to Mountain Morning Show. I'm here with life coach Terry Sidford. She is an author, speaker, real estate agent, Pilates coach, wellness coach, a lot. She wears a lot of hats and I'm very impressed and very happy that she took the time out of her busy schedule to be with us today to talk about goals and resolutions. So welcome to the show. Thank you for, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. So I have to admit, if I hear more about resolutions, I think I just might not make it. I think this time of year we're all kind of tired of resolutions, new year, new you, all these different sayings. It's kind of, we're kind of over it. But that being said, they're still important to us. Making goals and you know, learning how to live our best lives is still a great thing to talk about. So tell me about kind of your thoughts about where we are right now and resolutions and New Year's and all that. Well, I'm with you. You know, <laughs> resolutions are kind of old. And yeah. a lot of people, you know, it's a word that we've used for years and years and years to kind of set our goals and, and, and create new things for the new year. But really, it's just a date. And it's nice to have a day to start new and set intentions and goals. But with the reason that um, resolutions don't work is because usually they're not realistic. So you want to make goals that have a strong commitment, that are realistic, but also pushing you past your comfort zone a bit so that you're growing. Because how, are you, how else are you gonna make changes? But some of the pitfalls are that the, the goals are too high. And like, you know, I'm going to change everything and I'm going to do it all, you know, in yeah, the first I month. Yeah, I like 10 things out. I want to do this, 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 and that. And then it's like, oh, I haven't even done one. <laughs> right. And, and then you're so, you feel like such a failure that you give up everything. Yeah. So my recommendation is to make a list of things that you want to improve on or change or add for the new year. And then just take one thing at a time and make baby steps. For example, like, let's say you want to, I, I want to start reading a book a month. Well, get that book out, read one page. And that's not too, too much to ask for of yourself. And you feel like you're on the path. Mm -hmm. And then you don't you know, feel bad about yourself if you didn't read a chapter or you know, most of the book uh, in a couple weeks. So even eating well, just take one thing that you're going to change in your eating pattern or working out, just add one thing at a time. And then reward yourself. And so that kind of helps set you up so you don't fail. You're looking at what you're doing right instead of what you're doing wrong. But I think it'd be really hard to scale back. You know, I, for instance, one thing I want to do is having more family dinners, but I have teenagers who are all over the place and sometimes they don't get home until really late. But I also want to, you know, eat healthy and work out more and all these other things. So, right. you know, last night I didn't, we did sit down and have dinner, but I didn't work out and I didn't, you know, I made chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so it's like, and those negative voices come in and it's like, oh, I did one thing right, but all these other things. Right. So how do you not do that? It's, it's that old adage, which kind of, you know, the half, the glass is half empty or half full. It's really training yourself to look at what you do right instead of what you do wrong. Mm -hmm. It's human nature for us to say, you know, what haven't we done yet? We haven't done enough and we've never arrived. But if you look at what you do right every single day, it'll change your whole outlook. And it just becomes a pattern and a habit because we have a habit of looking at what we haven't done. Mm -hmm. So just start switching it around and, and write a note to yourself, have a whiteboard, even say what, you know, what went right today? <laughs> what did I do well today? And that will really change your whole outlook. I think that's such good advice. So how do you do a lot of different things? You're involved in a lot of things, not only professionally, personally, in the community. What are some of your resolutions and how do you balance everything in your life personally? That's a great question. I always work with balance with my clients. And it's not a destination. It's a journey. So it, balance is always different every single day. But what you want to do is just look at every aspect of your life and what would create balance. You know, health, family, um, your you know activities, uh, hobbies, things like that. And every single day, try to put that in order. What's most important today? And then work on the things that are most important because every day is going to be a little different. One day it's going to be your, your children and make sure you have a nice dinner on the table. <laughs> And, it, and working out was not as much of a priority. So if you look at it like, okay, I made that priority today, but you know, I can't go five days now without working out. So now the next couple days, let's put the workout on there. 
Does that is that helpful? Absolutely. So intention is very important, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Intention is a strong commitment. Instead of just, oh, I'm going to do something or put a goal out there without the commitment. So intention is a commitment with action. Mm. And it doesn't have to be huge action. It can be just a baby step. But you're really committed to it happening. And you're also looking at what might be getting in the way. So when you have a strong intention, like give me an example of a strong intention that you might have. Oh, a strong intention. Well, I want to run more 5Ks this year. Okay, so good. I really want to. I love 5Ks. That's great. I, <laughs> I love don't that. always train well. So, okay. <laughs> so how committed are you? Really, like how committed inside are you? I really want to do it. Okay. I do. Great. But day to day life balance can get in the way for yeah, sure. Absolutely. So, what, so can you look at some of the things that might get in the way? Uh, well, absolutely work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm better if I do it first thing in the morning, but I'm also at work very early. So then I have to push it to later in the evening, which can be harder. So that's probably my biggest struggle is when to get that training in. Right. But if you're really committed, then you'll kind of look at the things that might get in the way and kind of have a new strategy. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference in just kind of having a goal that you're really not committed to. Then you kind of let life get in the way. Mm -hmm. But when you're really committed to it and have that strong attention, you, you'll, you'll kind of look and see how you can be in charge of that more than life getting in the way. Right. That's not always point. easy. Not always easy. Not always easy. No. But I feel more inspired now to think about the positive and not the negative. Good. And, you know, how can I make it happen today? Good. And I think I do notice, I don't know if this is true with you or your clients, that if I'm, even if I'm just working really hard on one goal, if I start achieving that goal, other things start to rise up as well. That is absolutely true. That's why it's not so important to be working on everything all at the same time. It's kind of magical how you can start working on one little area of your life and everything else starts to kind of fall into place a little easier without as much effort. And I see it happen all the time. It doesn't seem to make logical sense because we want to achieve so much to just focus on one. But I really have noticed when I really do that, that it does, you know, it does make a difference. It if does. I'm working out more, I'm drinking more water, I'm making healthier food at home for my family. It just kind of all comes together, which is fascinating to me. It really is. It's, it's really about commitment of yourself and your best life and getting clear on what that looks like. And then just taking one step in that direction. And all of a sudden you just are in a groove and you know kind of what you need to do for yourself. Mm -hmm instead of second guessing it. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. well, enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me about a little bit about your book and maybe some things that you have going on in the next couple of months. I'm working with um, the Park City Library with a speaker series. I did one in uh, just recently, mm -hmm. and I was one of the speakers, and it's a free event, so I kind of pass the torch, and I have three other speakers that I'm helping put together, because speaking's uh, really important to me uh, and, and moving forward. And so that's happening in March. And I'm also working on my own um, uh, keynote speech. I'm working with speaking to women. And uh, I am always trying to um, tell people about my book, 100 Hearts, which is stories about inspiring women and, and courages of sto uh, stories of courage. And uh, I have all kinds of things in the works. Well, we're, we're going to keep having you on. We're going to stay you. posted of your progress because you are a very inspiring person, I have to say. Thank so you. So where can we get more information about you if we want to learn more about your book or we're curious? You offer personal life coaching as well, correct? Yes, uh, free consultation to see if coaching is something for, for our audience. And you can contact me at createyourlifecoaching.net. Not .com, .net. <laughs> or you can contact Park City TV and and get a hold of me we as know well. How to find you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We know where you are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Terry. This has been a fun conversation. I feel inspired, and you definitely, your passion for life is definitely contagious. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you for having me. All right. You heard it here. Be intentional, be positive. Don't focus on what you're not doing, focus on what you are doing, and maybe work on one thing. Uh, that's, those are my goals today, but I want to thank Terry for joining us, and we're excited to hear more about what she's doing and follow along with her life coaching, her speaker series, and her book. So check her out online. We'll be back with much more right after this quick break.